Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this cartoon type effect in Gravity Designer. Uh, this is a editable type effect that you can download from tutorials.net. And uh, now I'm about to show you how to create it from scratch. So let's get started with, with a new document. Alt N or Option N on your Mac. And I'm gonna size this document with the block cover 560 on 315 next i'm gonna use in the text uh, tool and first i'm gonna use something like a cartoon okay uh, next is 100 uh, set the font appropriate font in my case it's 21 so you just need to type into the web fonts the ve to bring up the 21 font and next increase the size to let's say 184 let's take a look on how maybe decrease the size a little bit so i'm gonna decrease the size to 130 at least okay let's go and work with the fields the advantage of gray is that you can add the as many fields as you want so let's add the field to our uh, text uh, text and uh, set the gradient to the field so click on this circle to bring up the menu and set the line of gradient to the field and first of all set the e6 c04 c click enter now we need to create another gradient stop at the location of 35 percent and give it this color f2 E9 5F and let's take a look on this one on my right E8 F4 FC click enter uh, now let's arrange the gradient right way so I'm gonna position the top point on the uh, top sorry at uh, the zero percent point on the top and the end point on the bottom and put it like so uh, okay let's now add some border effects and first border should be 10 pixels width and height uh, first let's go to the advanced stroke settings and for this stroke i'm gonna set the position to outside so you see the position to outside let's click on the circle and uh, add the line of gradient for this line of gradient i'm gonna use the two color stop so just select the white one and go to hexadecimal field let's type the c e 5 c 3 9 so c e 5 c 3 9 click enter and uh, on your right we have the c 96 b 2 e c 96 b 2 e click enter uh, the let's go to the top and to the bottom bam uh, so we arrange the gradient properly let's add the another border this time with the uh, value of the weight 5 pixels uh, you see it looks decent and now we, we need to again add the line of gradient this time to the position of uh, let's say uh, 50 percent we need to add another color stop let's work with the left one uh, this time i'm gonna be using the d6 7 6 3 8 click enter uh, then uh this one let's go e 5 a f 4 b click enter and the last one is the f 3 e a 
six zero click and again and i'm gonna push this 100 percent uh this uh gradient stop to the position of uh 75 so it should be in between the end and uh, this middle gradient stop uh, let's arrange it properly the end point in the bottom and the beginning point in the top make sure guys that you set this border to the outside as well so this border should be on our next let's uh, walk with the long shadows and for the first long shadow to bring up the long shadow we need to click more than uh, from this drop down select shadow and then long shadow let's work with this uh, first delete the fade uh, then uh, set the opacity to 100 percent then uh, set the length value to 30 pixels of course and let's change the color the color should be 59 one seven one four click enter and on the right should be eight one two e two six click enter uh, so so far so good let's add another long shadow effect it should be on bottom so let's go to the more long shadow position it on the bottom of our initial long shadow effect you can do this by bringing up the first one i believe so something like that okay don't delete the fade set the opacity let me check uh, what we have here set the opacity to 60 percent the lens Uh, since we have the 30 pixels here, I believe to 50 pixels, 50 and opacity to 30 pixels here. Okay, it looks decent. Uh, I think it's a little bit too much for this size of the, of the text. So you, you should tweak the uh, border effect, but for now to show you the flexibility. So first, uh, first of all, you can add it at the um shared style so create a shared style oh give it appropriate name cartoon click create and uh, next uh, apply it whatever you want again let's grab the rectangle let's go to the cartoonish bam you see you have the rectangle uh, it could be anything you want. It, it could be the arrows, it could be uh, the pluses, the uh, some arithmetics uh, to put it in a fun, enjoyable way. Uh, for the kids, for example. And uh, last but not least, uh, we can go to the more, uh, go to the adjust and color adjust. And tweak the color as well. So, for example, I I really enjoy this color as you can see color just doesn't work work to the element so you need to change the long shadow on your own i believe this is um, this is something like that so uh, it's beautiful let's set the border decrease the border weight a little bit since we uh working with uh, slightly smaller sizes of the font. I think the lens is 25. The lens here is uh, 45. Brilliant. Okay, this is how you can create the cartoonish effect. Don't forget guys to subscribe, give a thumb up and go to tutorial.net to download this cartoon effect and for more gravity design and adobe illustrator tutorials thank you for watching enjoy your day